Hello everybody, uh, this is Pastor Rob, and I just want to share a couple of things with you. Uh, first of all, uh, we will be having a Wednesday Lent service at Eggland. Uh, that will be at 7 o'clock. Uh, we are going to have a soup and sandwich at 6.30. Uh, after that, the, uh, the Council of Eggland uh, will meet to decide if uh, they will continue to have worship service. Uh, on Sunday, uh, or if we're going to uh, uh, postpone that for a week and then uh, in an attempt to, to help uh, stop the spread of the coronavirus. Uh, the council at Trinity Bergen is also uh, considering what steps it needs to take, and uh, when we get those uh, results, we'll, we'll let people know. Uh, in the meantime, I want you all to consider this. This is not a time to be afraid. We trust God. We're not going to panic over the coronavirus and nobody uh, in our parish is panicking. Uh, our concern is that we uh, love our neighbor properly and sometimes that means uh, that we take steps so that we don't uh, infect others uh, if we ourselves are infected. Uh, another thing that we need to remember uh, is that this is a time for us, if we are quarantined, to reflect on our lives and seek God and uh, find out what it is that he's telling us uh, during this time. And I actually believe that uh, there are certain things we can see going on in our society uh, that are screaming out for our attention. And one thing in particular that God is showing us is that those things for which we depended on this world, the things that we expected this world to do for us, it cannot do. The Dow Jones is tanking right now. Uh, the NBA is not playing. Uh, all the things we look to for pleasure, uh, they are no longer there. And that's a good thing. And the reason it's a good thing is because it's a reminder from the Lord that there is only one in whom we can depend, and it's Jesus Christ. We cannot depend on the things of this life, no matter how good and wonderful they are, to fill the need that only God can fill, and to give us uh, the direction and the courage and the life that we need. So let this time be a time to be in the Word, to be in worship, to be in prayer, to seek God for direction in our lives, and to focus our attention on the things of God, and uh, also to repent of anywhere in our lives where we have uh, looked to the world to fill a need that only God can fill, and let's commit ourselves to following Him more fully and more uh, in step with His Word and His Spirit. Don't panic, don't be afraid, uh, this too shall pass, but in the meantime, let's take this moment to be in prayer and seek God and find out what it is that he is telling us in this time. God bless you, and uh, keep looking to this page for further updates about church and also worship services.